Alright, I'm back. The Kirby boy is back. And I need a chip. Hang on, I'm having a chip chat. Chip chat? Kirby chat. Cat chip. Kirby in a car. <laughs> it's all related, I'm, I swear it is. So we'll actually do the level that I just tapped out of, and we'll continue, because you guys want to see more Kirby. Um, again, I'm curious how much there is in this game. Like, I wonder how many levels there are. Because it's like, there's so many blueprints that we haven't seen if there's, if there's level 3 for every single one of them. Maybe not every single one has a power-up. Who knows? I guess we'll find out. Ah! This feels like a level easy to miss stuff. Gotta get rid of this hammer though. Why have hammer when you could use sword? Or pipe inside of you. Do you want a pipe inside of you? That's a weird euphemism. Um. Ooh, I'm gonna get spikes. Spikes is fun. Save the hidden wobble deeds. Right, let's go. What's down here? Just freebies? More freebies. I do wonder if there's going to be... Because you do need um, those coins for upgrading. But you don't really need that many. So I feel like so much of this is going to be surplus for um, just Gachapon. I'm just going to be doing a lot of Gacha. Gacha, gacha, gacha. Uh. Ah. It's a fan with boat. It looks like we're doing boat. This is weird. I still, this might be one of the, one of the weirder powers. Because it's just, it is the inside of Kirby's mouth. Hopefully I don't miss anything. Enjoy meals at sea. I do enjoy a good meal at sea. Get out of here. Get out of here, punk. What's this do? I have a lot of spikes. Yep, that makes sense. There's one more meal to enjoy here. And as Sanji says, don't waste food. PSA, Sanji says, don't eat waste food. Eat that food. Someone worked hard for it. Why does that look like you can jump off there? Oh, you can. Oh, what? Oh, I need fire. All right, we're going to come back down for fire. Drop ability. Now we're magma. Is it really saving the Waddle Dee if they're like encased in a like a metal cage and then I set it on a fire with some liquid hot magma? Hot magma. Rewatching Wayne's World was been interesting because it was like it really was one of those things where you can kind of see how Mike Myers sort of. There was certain bits where you can tell like his comedy style like sort of made its way through from Wayne's World and all the other stuff he'd done from SNL. And I, I, I don't know if I talked to you guys about it. I, did you guys, was it a Super Bowl ad? I can't remember. But there was just this amazing ad that was like literally got all the cast together from um, Austin Powers. back into um, 
back together just for like a, I think it was like a car or an insurance ad or something like that. Dragonfire blueprint. Which like dang that was pretty good. Also I'm very excited for dragon. I think dragon actually has like we asked about like Meta Knight's flight. I think that um well no. I feel like Meta Knight's um flight has actually been relegated to uh dragon I guess. I only realized that a, a few years ago, I was about as a James Bond parody. Oh no, James. How you doing? Welcome in. Yes, he's very much trusted powers. But he's, it's, I feel like it's weird now because I, I rewatched um, uh, a couple of the James Bonds recently and I don't know if they're really for me anymore. I think growing up it was, it was fun, but I think it's like, I don't know if they're necessarily for me anymore, but Austin Powers, I feel like it's almost timeless. Number three, maybe less so, but um, I'm a big fan of um, whoops, uh, of the first two. Why do I keep doing that? Now we do it. Gotta go. One, I have to wait for the spike. Go, 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 go. No, I did it again. Ah, oh, I stuffed it up. Oh, we have to do that all again now. It's crude, but the first one's uh, mad funny. It, it is. Like, that's the thing. It's like, I think that there's like a... I don't know. I feel like it, can, it got away with a lot of stuff and it wasn't like just offensive. And I don't know. I think it's, it's that weird thing with comedy sometimes where it's like something's like we're very much of the time. But I think there's still some jokes that work. Like, it's weird. I'm, a good example is almost like teenage movies I used to watch that I think that are like, I couldn't watch them now. They were just like too, that's just really bad and really not great. And, but when I was a teenager, I loved them. I thought they were amazing. Oh, hang on. I need to get rid of these lads. If ever going to joke in those films, it's a long, over, uh, overly long gag. Well, interesting you say that actually, James, because um, that's actually one of the things I, I I noticed in Wayne's World. There was a couple of like the the fact that the gag kept being repeated to the point that it's like it's meant to be funny that it's the gag, and then the reverse of like one gag that just sticks around for a long time, and that's yeah. The character's actively trying to end the joke, but they can't. Yeah. Drops Will Ferrell in the fire and he won't die. Yeah. That's, that's the thing. I think, like... Mike Myers at that period, really, I think he nailed exactly, like, what he wanted to go for in terms of a comedy movie. Um, whereas it still feels like Wing World's a little experimental. Um, but supposedly that, that, like, the guru one, that one's, like... That one just didn't land with people. And I have no idea why. I don't know if it was just a bad movie or it just wasn't funny. I never saw it because I think it was just when it came out sort of thing, but... Dude, there must be so many powers. Should we go back and get the... Should we go get the upgraded dragon? Your sister thought it was mad funny. Oh, really? Were they young, though? Or was it like a... Oh, no! What? Hang on, we might reset. I don't know what's going on there. They have shit taste. Oh no. Okay, that's this. Uh, okay, I've never seen it. Yeah, I. It was one that I heard that wasn't great, and it had like kind of, like, a good example is I'm not a big fan of um. Uh, what's that? I, I don't like Family Guy and stuff like that, but I feel like there's a lot of things that like that's where it trended towards with American humor was it was just a lot of Family Guy, or when the American Office like sort of took off where there was I feel like like the I'm gonna say Parks and Rec, but like there's a lot of that sort of humor that sort of sort of became prevalent. But I think the Love Guru was just before that, and it was like it almost felt like a an old older generation thing almost. Gosh, this one's hard. 
Why is this- this- I don't know why this one's got this weird issue of like... Alright, we're just gonna go for the times, because... See, Kirby- I might have to jump when I do this. Because Kirby just falls. No. Whoa. Um, what? Wait, what? This game's teasing me. I can't hit any of them. Wait, what? I don't really understand because I can't tell how high I am. Chat, I'm too high. I'm too high for this. You can be in a couple of Freddy Mercury biopics. Plays the music producer yells at the teenagers? Oh, I don't. I literally don't remember that. Really? Because I um I actually really like that biopic, actually. James is a big as a big uh, Queen fan, I actually really liked it. Whoops. Wrong button. See, I don't really understand this. Sometimes we go over it. Yeah, I legitimately don't even remember him being in it. Though that said, he kind of... I feel like he's a type of person also looks a little bit different some days. Sometimes now. Gosh, this is, this is frustrating. I'm really not enjoying using Tornado. I'm just, like, not in tune with how it wants me to control it, I guess. There we go. I'm running out of time. Ugh. Dude. Uh, let me down. This is, yeah, this is, this is not very fun for me. Because it's kind of, the tornado has this sort of like, you're fighting it whenever you turn, it has like real delayed turning. Okay, alright, hang on, we have to, I might have to retry that. But I think the problem is that he, he's kind of gotten known for a particular comedy style, and I feel like that's a thing with a lot of, um, comedians, is like, they kind of become like, that was them in that era, they may have changed and find different jokes and stuff good now, but it's like, it doesn't, it doesn't, they can't get it to land for whatever in the modern sense. That's why I think it's better to be an ever-changing comedian. But, um, I think it's interesting with that in a sense. Wow, we're doing a lot better now. Um, is... There's some comedians where it's like their entire, like... Like... Not skit, what's the word I'm looking for? Their entire routine sort of is the, the same thing for, like years and years and years and they're just refining it and the same jokes they'll like you could watch like 20 years and it's like later they could just do the same like skit and it's like because it worked back then and they've just refined it to the point now but it's actually way better now but that's a weird thing with comedy i don't think i could ever do that i'm not persistent enough come to think of it adam sandler is very impressive that he's never slipped off the radar true um, well, so you know what's funny about that is, James, is like, um, Adam Sandler is that thing of like, people had a period there where they, well, now he's a joke in itself where it's like they make fun of his modern movies, but, well, not modern modern, later modern, and, um, but now there's like ones that have come about that it's like, people are like, these are actually really good, so, I don't know, they go through waves, I guess. Dan Carvey did that Master of Disguise movie. Yeah. God, I forgot that. I forgot he was in that movie. Yeah, I, I'm. I don't know about that. Sandler, Adam Sandler is a generational talent. He only actually tries once every ten years. I like the idea that he doesn't try, because I'm fairly sure he was like he's one of those ones that you hear sometimes where people talk about like people working in an industry and it's like they're 
essentially um they're just doing it for tax write-offs like we've got it in the games industry there's a couple of different ones where it's that people just joke that they are like or state that they're just doing it for tax write-offs and adam sandler was that for a period there he just wants to make trash because he it's what well the thing is from what i understand he just wants to make movies because he likes making movies but he wants to make movies with his friends but then I don't know if it necessarily works out. So this is the one that supposedly is like, it looks like it's got the Meta Knight abilities in it. So we got our first tier three that we actually went out and got in the world. Dude, look how big the wings are. Whoa. Gotta be settled down. All right, so it just has the two. But that's the thing, it's like comedy is very, I think, timely. Concept, uh, conceptual, not conceptual. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like it's it's relative to like when someone is. Oh, I haven't even got that time crash. Um, it's relative to like contextual. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Thank you. Like it's it's relative to the time period, the things that are going on, the people that are involved. Like they're trying to do it for a certain point. Wow, this looks really cool. This is the one everyone was like, oh shit, it's a Dark Souls level. Still kind of does look like a Dark Souls level. Um, but yeah, like, and I get that and it's good. And that's how comedy should be in a sense. But it is it is funny where it's like you growing up where you're like, I really like this thing. This is the one I really like. But then there's like this, ooh, you can get Meta Knight Sword. Um, uh, uh, because I don't know if I like fire, really. I've never really liked fire. Whoa! All right, never mind. Fire does crazy damage for bosses. Fire might be the best for bosses, then. But I do want sword. I don't really know what my point is, necessarily, outside of just... Um, I know what I like. And it's hard because you want other people to be into what you're into and it may not ever they may never never click with it and that's okay because like everyone has their own own drum to, to work with oh shit is that coming back i guess not all right and like everything everything is just like Everything's a taste, everything's a flavor. You gotta figure out what you want. Alright, that was good. I was worried that it was just gonna drop me, but... Alright, I got a boy. Found the boy. Look at my little hat! Oh my god, Meta Knight on top! That's amazing. I find uh, his lowbrow comedy to be generally pretty bad. He's completely in touch with his audience. That's true. The thing is, I, it's weird because it's like I, I grew up with certain um, Adam Sandler movies and I really like them. But there's like, I think there's like a bit of an issue with. Oh, look. Wind is good against sword. It seems. That makes sense. Oh no. Please stop spinning. Um. Even level 3 doesn't do that much damage to her because it probably has disadvantage. Um, but yeah, there's, there's definitely like people making for their, their audience. There's definitely people like that'll like those ones. But it's funny when they have ones where it's like they're more accessible for the common people or just general people because like Adam Sandler definitely had a point there where he was like, he was like the guy. Oh, do we have to be quick here? We have to be quick here. Interesting. Nice. Got another waddled. Oh, I didn't realize that this one actually has that duck on the top. I lost my sword though. Well, it's that thing of, well, that's, there's a, speaking about Adam Sandler, I, I love, um, 
uh, the McElroy brothers, and um, they they've got an ongoing thing that is uh, Paul Blart Mall Cop Two um, yearly movie uh, watch podcast that they do. And what's crazy about that, in a sense, is like I've never watched that movie. It generally doesn't look like it's for me, but. I feel like because he he's a I'm fairly sure like Paul Paul Blatt's actor or the comedian is good friends with um he's good friends with uh, Adam Sandler I think they've been in each other's movies a few times but it's like what's interesting about that is like they kind of I feel like similar audiences in that sense Kevin James yeah and it's I don't think I would ever be into those but there's obviously enough that people enjoy those films because they got a second one. I didn't realize that Kevin James and Kevin Smith were two different guys. See, I kind of like Kevin Smith. Like, I see, I grew up with a lot of Kevin Smith movies. So it's like, for me, I like him, but understandably people don't really like druggy sort of haha, <laughs> dumb humor, I guess. But it's like, I think that, um... I think Kevin Smith makes decent films, but some people genuinely really hate his films. And that, again, is fair enough if people don't like that stuff. Oh, what? I have to, I have to use my little Pico Pico hammer as fast as I can. And then drive a car. Shit, floor it. Get that boy. But yeah, they're very different, Kevin James and Kevin Smith. Ah. Wait, do I have to fall to get that boy? Come on, Kirby, we gotta get back up. Do it, Kirby. Huh? Ice boy. Ice boy. <laughs> Why'd the other one show me his butt? Where am I? I don't actually know where I am. Oh, this is maybe not that fun. Come here. Gotta get rid of one, so then it's... Oh, what? He ate me! Wait, oh, they've, oh, I don't think I can kill it. I think it's straight up like, uh, there's only... They have a shared health bar. They have straight up a shared health bar, okay. Oh no, there we go. I think jump attacks is still the best, honestly. Ow. No grabby. Ow. I'm assuming we need ice here, so I may as well grab ice. Ice hasn't been upgraded, has it? Wait, ice is still default. Hang on, have I not found ice's upgrade? Have I missed an upgrade somewhere? A frosty ice blueprint. So does this mean... Hang on. Did we miss one? I don't know. I really don't. What? Oh. What? What? Wait, what? Oh, do I have to? Oh, I have to make ice path. I think I have to make an ice path. Oh no, never mind. I'm just being dumb dumb. Floor it, daddy-o. Hi. So we missed one poster, but we got all the Waddle Dees.
I guess we'll have to go and find that at some point. Unless this is like, this is just the one. Like this is just the upgrade to this one. Do it. This one's going to be a relative hard one, I think, to, to get stuff, but... Um, looks like there's a lot of extras that we need to do. Oh, we got a vo we got a volume two from an actual level. I don't think we've gotten that before. Hi. Battle of the Big Blizzard Bridge. Get it! Do it! It's nice that we haven't had to go back yet. Oh! It's time! Chat, I didn't even think about this. It's my boy! If you guys have not watched me play Smash, I play a lot of DDD. I love me some DDD. Hi! Skiing road, high speed skating. Maybe I'm maybe I haven't missed any. Ow. I do like that these challenges are quite, like, good in terms of, like, the difficulty for them. Like, it still feels like they're not, like, easy easy, but there's, like, enough challenge there that's, like, you, you can enjoy it. Here we go. Bam, ba -da -dum, bam, bam. Oh, we just got it. I get the little 50. I don't wonder whether or not you will get anything. I wonder if the time actually, I wonder whether or not the timer is actually less harsh in um uh the easier difficulty. It's time, chat. I'm gonna take a sword and I'm gonna go fight him. The unexpected Meta Knight. Uh did he? Castle? Whatever. Look at this Soulsian shit. They've even done a Vista. Everyone's just way into like this this game is just very, very well presented. Um sword? Ah, I guess fire. Fire is probably the best power just period for the bosses. Because it just it does just so much damage. Also, I just saw the game lag. Huh. Unexpected. So is this is this this world's DDD or is it straight up DDD's become like a like a a berserker man? Very clean and defined visual. Yeah, definitely. And I think that I think it's not got a lot of those switch problems that I think that sometimes Nintendo gets stuck on. But I think this actually does a very good job. His royal nemesis, King D D D D D D D D D. It's, it's just oh, it's straight up the D D D. Okay. Oh no. I wonder how much health he has. Well, he's on just on fire now. Where do you go? He's very on fire right now. What is he doing? Do I have to like bait this out? Well, he's just very on fire. Oh no, his fire went off. Ah, oh. uh. he got very strong. Rah! 
Do I have to get out of the way of that? I guess I do. This is some soulsy and shit. We just want to try and set him on fire. We can get the big fire, we're just going to take big damage. CDDD. -D -D. Beaten yet again. So, hang on. Alright, are we going to get a lore moment here? What's this? Hammer? Homing bomb blueprint. Homing bombs? Clear without guarding. Wait, sorry. Hold up. Can we guard in this game? <laughs> Wait. Did he swallow Dedede's hammer? Kirby! The difficulty is not comparable. I feel like the design like Souls bosses. Yeah, I feel like there's proper like mechanics in this. This feels like a proper like action game, which is nice. The same thing happened with Mario as well. I feel like something's happened. Nintendo want people to like lean into more proper game stuff, even at the lower end, which is nice. Oh, this is the end of the continent. Island? That. Desato. Guess we're gonna have another showdown with DD eventually. Oringal Wasteland. But there was a thing back there. Hang on. Hang on. We'll save Elfin after I've gone back. The wastes where life began. Is that what I just said? Hang on, I saw an extra. Oh shit, yeah, car time. I'm way into car time. Let's roll. This is gonna, I feel like this is gonna get harder at some point here, but I'm not sure when. I see. Okay, this is gonna, I'm assuming it's gonna remove the, the walls at some point here. No? Dude! Sometimes jumps don't come out. I, I swear, like, my, uh, my, all my controllers, all of the jump buttons have like been going. But that may have just been me. That's okay. We're we're only after the crystals anyway. Hi. Hi. Oh, that was a level three for some reason. I wanna know what's up there. What is that? What's up there? What is it? I can't see. It's a big mountain. It's a volcano. Okay, so we're heading towards a volcano. Question. Do you know what's weird? Is there actually any volcanoes near deserts IRL? I feel like most are like either on tropical islands or like mountain, snowy mountain regions and stuff like that. I feel like there are no active volcanoes near a desert that I'm aware of. But you'd think there would be some sort of correlation because of the fact that they're like ones like deserts are really dry and hot and everything like that. And then, um, ow. But, uh, I guess, just guess not. Just guess not. Because I guess volcanoes create a lot of, um, uh, sort of, not residue, what's the word I'm looking for? It produces a lot of moisture. There's a lot of, uh, like, evaporation and things like that. And that causes to have a scenario of a lot of things have a lot of green. It brings in a lot of water. And so it's like, 
volcanoes end up being the uh not the dry dark places but kind of humid ashen places what is oh, okay Hmm, chat, I may have to pause. I have a feeling my cat may have brought in something into the house. Hmm. Give me two seconds, chat. I may have a small animal to catch. Me and my pink blob self. I think I think it was just zoomy time. I think that's what's happening there. <laughs> Got me the shard, the crystal shard. What are these boys? They're very big. And now on fire. These boys are just playing with a ball. Wait, which way's forward then? Ah. So I'm just gonna have Kirby go out into the desert. Ah, I see. It's one of those moments. Snack. Snack, snack. Eat, find the lost squishy. Wow, this this area is a lot more open wide than the other ones. Which is weird. Some evil, evil grape juice blowers. Can I blow these down? Ah, they just fall down. Man, why is there so much sand tuna? All right, come back for that. You're now on fire. You're now super duper on fire. You're now impossibly on fire. And now you're melted. We did it. Does it free the boy? It frees the boy. Capsule. Oh, hi. Man, I'm a, I, I have a weird feeling at the end of this, we're going to collect all the Waddle Dees, we're going to turn them into a giant Waddle Dee mech, and we're going to go fight God. Is that what's happening? I need you back. Baby, come back. I love his little feet. Because you don't really get Kirby running very often, but like... Is that what usually happens in this game? What, me eating a... Wait, hang on. Okay, never mind. Um, the eating a thing? That's new. <laughs> Becoming a weird, like, circular boy? That's new. Me becoming fire? Yeah. Very 
Very, very common. There we go. Ah! I wonder that meat. Why does this feel like there's something here? No? I like how it's just that there's all of these are just set up in a particular oh, okay, I see. They're all meant to fall down. Bong. Why does he look like this? It's so silly. Oh, it looks like there's a thing that we're actually meant to Ah. Uh... So this is either a shorter level. I feel like it's always the first level must have three and then it, it, cr it cranks up. Capsule. Never not be amused by this feat. He's just, he's just trying to live his hardest, hardest little best life. Me, secret Kirby. Capsule? Ah. I see. I have to go back. Alright, well, that's annoying. There's a little lizard! There's a little lizard fella! Oh. At least I, I get a clear run now. Saved all the waddledees. Do we need to go back to town? When was the last time we went back to town? Because we may have unlocked that new building now, which I don't know what it would do. If it doesn't give me blueprints, I'm not sure I care. All I care about these days is blueprints. I love those giant versions of those, uh, the little lads. We'll break a break for it. Ow. Oh, it's like a little resort. Nothing. There's nothing on the sides anywhere. Yeah. Defeat the lost squishy. Shoot three flying targets. What is that? Crash. Oh, that's right. Remote bomb. Wait, hang on. Wait. Is Crash a different- no, Crash is a different power. Crash is actually a power power. So that means Crash is in the game. Huh. That's weird that I got that before actually seeing the power. Maybe I need to go back? Maybe we'll go back to town. Is the butterfly going to be really important or something? Or is this just another one of, uh, one of those I've captured your friends scenario? Right, let's go back. We'll see if we've got unlocked those new buildings. Because I don't know how many Waddle Dees we have. Oh, we have a pool now? Shit, yeah. Oh no, it's a fishing minigame. Oh no. Chat, save me. Do I have to? Please, no fishing. What's this? Juice box. What are these item shop? Are these like temp buffs? Bomb can be evolved. Ice can now be evolved. All right, let's go upgrade those first of all.
Yo, you have so many blueprints. Yay. All right, let's upgrade this. Harming bombs. So what are harming bombs? Yeah, so that's not crash. The so crash is the different one. So what does this do? Oh, look at this. Hang on. So if I do this. Oh, so it still has chain. So it still has chain link. It's just it will home. Man, that's this is kind of like the no-brainer one, I guess. Rusty ice power. Oh, hi. That's pretty cute. So what's this do? Is snowball? Oh, it makes snow boys, and you can push them. Oh, okay, that's cool. Okay, cool. But as a matter of fact, this is still the only bed, the only one we need. So it's weird because it's like it's almost as if the f the second power is always these like almost like tribal ones, and then the uh, upgraded version is the the true form of them. Let's do a mini game. Fishing, flash fishing. Press the correct button as fast as you can. Don't let them get away. Oh shit! Yeah. Okay. Never mind. If this is just a spamming like button mini game, I'm totally into that. Oh, it's just as fast as you can. You just have to press corresponding. Oh, I wanted to spam one. All right, this is literally just uh, relax, fall asleep, Kirby. Oh, new record. Oh, well, I'm done with that. <laughs> fishing is just not for me in video games. Oh no, there's a fishing tournament. Or is this... Alright, my best fish is 500. Hang on, this thing's back. Wait, every single time I come back, do these come back? Hmm, I wonder. What's this? Hi there, welcome to Model These Item Shop. We sell uh, temporary boosts. Yeah, okay, so it is temporary boosts. Um, I don't really need any. No, I'm good. I still need to upgrade all my weapons, all my all my stuff. We actually need to go buy a max to mate though. So maybe we should go do that. Because the max to mate at least it gives me a second chance. It's over this way. This hub's a little bit bigger than I was expecting, but, like, it's still not massive. Oh. What can I get ya? What can I get ya? I would love a maximum to mate. And I'll have it to go, thank you. I need it bagged up. How can we bag this up without it getting squashed? All right, where are we? Giant sword treasure. So I guess we'll we'll, go, we'll just go through these as well. There's like no point not to do these. I feel like they don't give us the blueprint. Have any of these given us blueprints? I don't think so. I think it's always just a crystal. It's interesting that this is like. The sword is getting like the mid range sword rather than the Meta Knight one. But I suppose they do operate a little bit different. Because it's like, I would like it to be like this as powerful as the Meta Knight sword, but Meta Knight's is just better. And I do like the Great Sword, but the outfit is a little poopy. Do, do, do.
This one's particularly easy because it's the great sword's slow. Boss. Boss. Double sword time. They had very little health. Nice. I wonder if people are going to be like pushing for records on some of these like crazy times or something. Beep. Save the hidden waddle dees. <laughs> Oh no, this oasis is like poopy. I'm leaving a bad star review on this travel report. It kind of looks, um, I was going to say South American. I don't know. I feel like that, that's, it makes me think of whenever I've seen like South American stuff in like, um, for like deserty areas, they use these sort of housing, but it also kind of has like a sort of Spanish vibe to it too. I don't know. But it's got sort of Arabic y sort of music, it feels like. What happened here? Who, who, why, why is this so much poison? Oh no! Let me out! Can't hide my hidden boy. Yeah. I wonder actually, do you know what, chat? I'm wondering about how co-op works with this game in terms of, um... Uh, man, that's a Yoshi looking uh, melon there. Um... In terms of, uh how the camera sticks to. I'm assuming the camera must stick to Kirby. Right? Because otherwise I feel like... Whoa. Uh, I don't think I can fight that. I don't think I can fight that. Come here, you. Uh, that looks like a Hickman enemy. Like the giant frogs. What's that thing? Wow, we're getting a lot of new enemies now. These are like, these ones fight differently. Oh no, uh, I'll get sword in a sec, I just wanted the capsule. It's annoying because I lose I lose my power up if I get hit. Sword is like a high skill weapon, thank you. Whoa! Alright, he, he's actually a lot more accurate than I thought he was going to be. Can we destroy him? Got a boy. <laughs> ah, no fault. This is the first one I think it's actually opening an area for us. Uh... Secrets. 
I love like Meta Knight's head just being on there because it's it's not just his mask, it's his eyes. Destroy them all. Do it, Kirby. Man, I really want to talk about One Piece. I, I just had a moment there where I really want to talk about it, but I can't. I just cannot chat. I don't want to spoil it for people who haven't gotten up to it. Oh, you can retry that. Does that skip? I, yeah, so this is the thing that sometimes happens with Kirby's games, where it's like, we kind of skipped, like, you need to get everything done in a region or you'll, uh, you'll miss it. That's kind of what's happened here, it seems. Ow. Oh, okay. Interesting. Good to know. Alright, well, we'll get rid of this because I feel like the game is wanting me to have pencil. Eh. No, please. Yeah, I'm not sure if, like, pencil's like a funny power because I'm like, I'm not sure I particularly think it's a great upgrade to the other version of it. Wait, but I can't... Yeah, I can't do that. So, hang on, how does this work? How do I get rid of the poison? Don't think I can get rid of this boy, too. Ah, there. Oh, we cleaned the toad. Oh, he's gone now. What's the point of that? That was a weird switch. I don't think there's any necessity to do that. I guess it's if you didn't want to have mole. Oh. Kind of frogger right now. This is fun. I like this. This is cool. Ironically, I'm glad that they haven't kept using like the requirement for that dig mechanic for mole where you have to essentially do, like, circles. It's the last one, quick, we gotta be quick. Sleep, sleepy lad. Diligent digging in the secret room. One more waddle dee to go. Ah. Come on. Let's dig. Oh. Cooling fa. Now there's an underrated character that sort of makes me sad that he no longer exists anymore. I miss Tingle. We will play the weird Tingle games one day on stream. Ah, I thought so. This is the second toad. You'll never get me, Toad Boy. This is the funny thing. Some of these levels are definitely easier in terms of others to get the secrets. And it's not really relative to how far we are in the game. We're now literally at the, I think I've done everything, just need to finish the level level. Seagulls. <laughs> It's like the idea that Kirby dancing with a pencil on his head. Did we get everything? No, we missed one, actually. What's this? Take a nap by the secret pool. Ah, oh, are you winning, Dad? I've never stopped winning, Navi. Have you seen Kirby's face? Water, you guys have given me so much water. <laughs> Good, because it's kind of a warm day. Evil Mole. I, 
I wonder if this volcano is the last level. To be honest, I kind of, I'm kind of enjoying it not going to space as Kirby, weirdly enough. <laughs> I hope we have a space level. But not going to space makes me, like, feel like we probably should have at least a moment with that. Kirby's the space traveler. I haven't got my copy yet. Oh, no, maybe. Are you getting a physical? That's the thing. It's like, I'm, I'm not a physical person because I'm too impatient. Like, I want the thing when I want the thing. Oh, did I miss that? I did. Uh, okay, so we need to do something to get in there. Alright, so this one's kind of a weird maze thing. Okay. We don't need to kill the enemies in this, it seems. We just need to go. Da -da 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 I feel like we're just cheating, we're just skipping all the enemies, but I think it's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, I feel like you're just skipping the enemies is what we're supposed to do here. Like any true mole. Ugh. I want to buy digital if I already own it in some form. Really, Mavi? Interesting. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I technically got the Wii one. Ah, I see. Whoa, look at the background. I never actually noticed how nutty the background looks. Is this inside his brain? I suppose it's meant to be dimensional rifts and stuff like that. I have to keep remembering that this game is actually like, it's based around the fact that we're in a different dimension. What if it, what if that DDD is heading to other DDD and he's going to make, it's going to be double DDD fan, friends. Double DDD -D -D time. So it's DDD -D 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 -D. All right, let's do it. Hammer time. Oh, hey, it's the, it's the Mario level. Oh, this is kind of satisfying the pace of this. Oh, I like the pace of this. Oh, I like how this feels. You know when you have those little moments in video games that are just very satisfying? This is very odd. Oh, how the tower turns is just at the perfect pace. Oh, I like that. That was good. I like my DDDD. Dark Side of Dimensions. Mm-mm. <clears throat> What did, well, hang on, what did, what did, D, I forget what DDD stands for in Yu-Gi-Oh, it's, because Dark Side of Dimensions is that movie, but there's also, uh, something else, I feel like there's something else. I've talked about this before, like, the letter D, and my, like, weird, like, forever growing up with the letter D, things, having the letter D and me noticing it. <laughs> Go! Phew. I love that they still try to maintain like the whole like um uh when Kirby uh goes in a cannon he has to bump his head. Oh no I didn't want to do that, but that's okay. Oh my god, look how long this is! Dude, this is a really long fire. I've never seen this before. This is very cool. There's just little things that are just fun in this that are like twists on the, the Kirby-like formula. Hmm, not that though. No! Oh, you're joking me. Because I, uh, because I wasn't touching the ground, I stuffed it up. But I don't think I have enough time now. I have to retry. 
Dif a dark different dimension. Is that what it stands for? The DDDs? Oh, I didn't get the... Let's go again. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? We have to do this right close. Go, 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 go! Different dimension... Daemon based on Yugi Wiki? Oh, really? Interesting. I guess it's the best way to do it, because you will just get distance as well as it. Yeah, that's a better way to do it. And you can hit two with it too. <gasps> no! Problem is you can't cancel it, so it's a little dangerous. But that one's the one that I keep doing it, and I'm not trying to. Oh no! Oh no! Alright, we got it. Alright, we just go. Not the cleanest, but it's fine. Pew! But you see what I mean? Kirby has the bumpy head every single time he goes into a cannon. It's a weird thing they've carried over. What? How do you speed that up? Does the hang on, does that little flame go faster based on how what? how do I how do you get 10 extra seconds there? It feels automated. Not really sure how that works, but fine, whatever. We're going to the mall chat. Oh shit. Do you know where we're not only going to the mall? We're going to the mall from um Cyberpunk. It feels like this game has little weird cultural references. Because, straight up, doesn't that look like the mall from Cyberpunk? Uh, not Cyberpunk. Blade Runner? It looks so much like it to me. Now I want to watch Blade Runner 2049. Damn, that's a good movie. Damn, Daniel. Oh, I destroyed sword. Hang on, we're gonna... I'm gonna have to reset that back. I want sword back. I don't really like pencil, so... Steve's back. Come back, baby, come back. Oh, I need you, baby, come back. Reset the level. Ah, uh, it's fine, let's just go. What if I do this? Everything respawn? No! Weird. I was like, I had a feeling like a something was going to be there. This does not look like a mall. This looks like a school. Or someone's work area. Sword. <laughs> I got it. And everything is right with the world. Oh, what? <laughs> okay. Not what I was expecting. That's fine. Taste three different- taste test three different types of ice cream. What? How does this work? What? Uh... What? Okay. I thought I had a beam, but I don't have a beam. So we need a circle for this one. What gives us a circle? Whatever gives a circle. So fan? So there must be a fan somewhere. We have to look for a fan. What are ya? I wish I could do Meta Knight's Glide. There it is. Alright, do we need to go forward for this? Then we go back, I guess. 
I love that the Meta Knight thing looks like a little hat for him. Wow, is this also, is this a reference to um, the that horror, Japanese horror, every hole for, there's a hole for everyone? There's a hole for every Kirby. Is it, a, it's like a darkness about this game that we, we just haven't quite touched on as much as we should have. This big lad. Going down? <gasps> Alright, vending machine? Let's do it. I wonder how many capsules I do have. Like, how, what's the percentage of all the capsules I have? In case you didn't get the message that you should probably come and find these holes, it's like it drops you right near them. This is a particularly easy level, which is interesting. Yeah! Weirdly, it's like, for a mall, this doesn't look like a mall to me. I don't know about you guys, it feels more like we're in like a warehouse. Probably need cutter, but I refuse. And there's a door there. Ow! Ow! You can hit by stuff. This really feels like cut is required. Oh no. Monkey. Oh, he hurt me from falling over. That's bull. What are they? I love the little marks on the ground. Oh, there's hammer requirement. Hang on, hold still. Everyone hold hold up for a sec. Do not let me lose my sword. There we go, got it. Give me that. So I can kiss my little blad. And let's go, uh, let's go eat a hot dog. At least we're not regurgitating into someone today. Wild hammer blueprint. What the hell does that mean? Do you get two hammers and you just go nuts? So we need wind here. Ah, the clock. What's the time, Mr. Wolf? Wait, 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 I need that. I can still do this. The clock is obviously the thing. We push it out from the other side. Ah. So we need hammer. Alright, well, we're gonna get a hammer then. Chat, well, did we see a hammer recently? I don't think I did. Alright, we have to go find a hammer. Alright, there's a big hole there for something. There's hammer. Oh. Hopefully, I can get sword back from those other boys. Alright, let's go. What's the time? Time to get a new clock. Because I smashed it. He's got a little helmet. He's got a little helmet, chat. He's got a little helmet where he's a little... Dang. Very cute. Alright, let's hopefully the sword boys came back. Oh. 
Doesn't look like it. And it looks like I think I'm too small for that, but we can probably do the one over there. Uh, I guess we have to do this. I kind of like the idea that we're depositing the items every single time we break one of these things. It removes it from existence. Ugh. Maybe I shouldn't have had so much water. Oh, what? Ow. I guess I'm gonna have to kill them now because I'm on lowish health. I guess my hit test is a little bit bigger being a, a blob boy. Huh. <laughs> I like that one took a moment. Thank you everyone for your snacks and your service. Enjoy the rest of your dining. All right, do we need water? Doesn't look like it. It's like almost water was just for that. Oh, hi. doing? Hang on. Hang on. Where are, we, where are we going? Oh. Tringle. Insert the tringle. Okay, this is the end of the level, I guess. Wow, this is like the first level we've completed without Kirby having a power. Hi. Nice. V has the media player? I know. We haven't seen the VLC one for a while, I feel like. Car shop sign. Ugh. Oh, it doesn't have lipstick. It, ha it has its gums raised. I'm not sure which is worse. Seeing the true monkey or seeing the fake monkey? Moonlight cabin. Whoa. Some souls shit. Everything stocks souls by the way. Wait, now chat, just everything is souls. Got my little hat on. I'm gonna go in Savannah, shoot some boys. Are you ready? Yep, 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 yep. Oh, they're still alive. Oh, these ones have lots of health. Oh, they're, they're higher level. Oh, okay, I see. It's one of these ones. Alright. Alright. So we're gonna have to search for these. I guess. Ow. No. And this feels like it's weird because it's this almost feels like a boss level with the way this is done. Uh, they tricked me. Go, Kirby, go. <clears throat> That's definitely one where it's like, if you know the position, you can speed up way faster. Uh, did we get all of them? I feel like... Crystal Needle. Well, we need to find Crystal Needle, I guess. Um... Did we get Crystal Needle at some point? Also, we haven't actually been searching for secret ones. I realized I didn't do that at all for this one. The 
the scissor lift. The one that I keep forgetting the buttons for, for some reason. Let's do it. Let's suck and go. Suck and pluck. You know what I said about the button thing? <laughs> I already forgot. Little stretchers. The daily exercise. Performing the stretch before. Man, I, I kind of miss uh, that weird haiku thing from WarioWare. Man, WarioWare just great. That team just knows what's up. Ow. Risky one. There we go. We did it. Man, that that felt like a. Uh, the end of it was a lot harder than I was expecting. Oh, you're joking! I was two seconds off. Gotta be joking, mate. So there's, lot, there's lots of little searchables, but I feel like we've got a lot less hidden... ...like map locations, I think. Alright, here we go, Crystal Cave. We'll get the Moonlight Greatsword from here. I'll switch over to a Intellect build. Um, we'll also have to have full health so then we can do beam attacks. Oh, that looks cool. Man, these this, these opening little little shots for the level are so good. Wow, this is a Crash Bandicoot level. <laughs> What's the point of these? I guess it's just to state that this is going to have a lot of drops in this level. Get prepared to fall. Blueprint. Win the drill blueprint. Wait, hang on, we upgraded the drill twice? Or no, this is the first upgrade here. No more Kirby's allowed. Alright, we gotta get three posters. Man, chat, do you know what I'm doing here? I'm like thinking about Yu-Gi-Oh. It's it's funny when it's like, you know, like you got a game in your brain and it's like you can't get it out. Yu-Gi-Oh! right now, in my brain. I'm thinking about, like, builds and things. Because I did play a little bit of that Lunar Light deck. And, um, it's quite fun. Um, I actually don't mind it. I'm still not great with Tri-Brigades. So I'm only just learning them now. But Tri-Brigade Lunar, very good. And in that weird normal rare, it actually works quite well. Because it makes it very consistent. But, um, the other thing is the, uh... Like, I want to try... There's a couple of other ones I wanted to try out. And, um... If I can figure out that Shiranui one, I think that might be fun. <laughs> Why did it tell me about illuminating now? Gotta get that baby bottle. So this is one where it's like... Oh! Oh, that was cool. I was too focused on the one that I could see, not the one that was invisible. In the dark. They, they give you little freebies. Again, it's a Kirby game. It's never going to be that rough in terms of, like, difficulty. Give you constant healing items. Oh, secret. Secret peeker. Man, it's just... I don't know, it's hard to describe when playing a Kirby game where you just like... There's the level of just comfort that you have where you just like... it's They're not a hard game, they're just enjoyable and... 
Having those little platforming moments where you just sort of like... You're pretty confident you're not going to like miss any marks there or anything. Um, but then like... Uh, it's... It's just nice to have a game where you can just like... Be pretty comfortable with... Not having to try hard. Because, do you know what? Speaking of which... So I started New Game Plus in Elden Ring. And I wasn't extremely powerful by the end of that game. But what's kind of crazy is um, uh, in New Game Plus, I'm finding myself way, 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 way too powerful, which is kind of like, I don't know if it's necessarily a bad thing, but it's it sometimes happens with the New Game Plus. But I feel like in this one in particular, more so than other Souls games, is... Uh, going 100%ing everything just in general can kind of mess stuff up just in terms of just normal playthrough but also um, also just like new game plus like I feel like I'm way too strong for it chicken now I'm just realizing I have to figure out T Tacos? Chicken tacos, maybe? Get that boy. I don't know if he's hidden. He was just he's just in a dangerous spot. I don't know if that classifies as hidden. But yeah, chicken tacos, like uh Alright, hang on, we're gonna replace this drill, because drill sucks. So I don't know if flaming fire dragon travel is necessarily a good idea either. I saw that roast chicken and it made me think about like a roast uh, a roast chicken sandwich for tea. Dude, that'd be so good. We don't have any in the house. Who wants to cook me a whole roast chicken? What's that bit from um, the Blues Brothers? I'll two, take two fried, full fried chickens and a Coke. Wait, hang on. Sleep is in the game. Oh, dude. That's so funny. Sleep is in the game, but in a weird way. No way. Hang on. Wait. Sleep is in the game. But it's used as an obstacle. That's so funny. Oh, I actually really like that. Oh, I've lost um fire though now. Alright, cutter's fine. I wonder what upgraded cutters be. I do wonder whether every single power is going to get a third form. It feels like almost some of them are going to. Oh my god, that poor boy. I guess no Yu-Gi-Oh this stream? No, I, the other people voted earlier and they were like, uh, not feeling Yu-Gi-Oh, so we just stuck with Curb. But, um, I'm feel I was feeling Yu-Gi-Oh, but we'll definitely focus on it more tomorrow. I think because Kirby probably hasn't got much left. Um, uh, I would imagine that we're probably most of the way through Kirby now. Like, I think I might have like, like half a stream left for it. It's flight time. Wow, it's surprising we've only had two of these now. I'd love a country fried steak right now. What? Hang on. Wait a minute, what's a country fried steak? I've never heard that term before. What's the difference between a country fried steak and a normal steak? I'd love me some, uh, ow. I'd love me a, uh, a roast chicken. A good roast chicken. But it takes time. And I don't really like the ones where you can get from like, um, from like Coles or out of Safeway. I think they're just, they're, they're a little average. Whee! Man, that's some Shadow Colossus shit. Very, very much inspired by, um... Star Fox, it feels like. 
The hat feels appropriate for this one. Man, this world got messed up. What happened here? What? Hi. Why is there I why is there just the ice at the end? I have no idea. Da -da 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 yeah. Race car. It's a breaded steak. Oh, so it's like fried steak. Let me have a look at this. I want to see. Chicken fried steak. I've heard of this. I don't I thought I think I've heard a different name for them. So it's like it's just it's breaded steak. With a white sauce. Ooh, a white sauce. Ooh, that sounds good. So is it like a southern white sauce? Or is it gravy? Oh, it's drippings to make a gravy. Oh, okay. So it's like a heavy creamed gravy. Oh, okay. I think a white sauce would work better. Personally. Not necessarily gravy, but I can see it. That does sound good. I think I'd prefer... I think I'd, I still think breaded chicken is just nicer than breaded steak, though. What is this? Oh, no! Oh, no, chat. Chat. Oh, no. It's the creepy thing. It's the armadillo from uh, a rare game. <laughs> Kirby has no respect for your lights. It's fun to have the like little physics in the game though. All right, what are we gonna take in? I've got homing bombs. I've got this. This is probably actually not bad. Otherwise homing bombs probably would be really good in this fight, but I guess we'll find out. Whoa! This dude doesn't like Kirby. Wait, who? Why does he know who Kirby is? Hang on, what? Hang on, how does he know who Kirby is? Did DDD like set up this or something? Also, oh, look at these little plushes. Uh. Oh, we're here. Oh, we're... okay. It's just a trick. <laughs> Armored, plated, prancer, silly dialer. Look at this. He actually, actually, no. I take it back. This actually gives me Crash Bandicoot vibes as well. I realize this is a tier two power rather than a tier three power. Uh, oh no, we didn't get the third Kirby. I guess we don't get that Kirby. Uh, all right, we have to run from that. Ah! Ah! Do it! We gotta get him! Uh. Like, you just have to run. I'm gonna get hit by that. He caught me. <laughs> I like that he didn't like that. What's he doing now? What's that? What? Uh, this boy's not okay. Is he gonna throw his wife at me? Whoa, I was right. Oh, he's throwing multiples. 
Wow, this is like a proper boss fight. It's like a full sequence, like you have to just respect the sequence. Alright, so this, this weapon obviously does not do great damage at this point. Or, Cutter's probably not very good at an armadillo. Oh no, my cutter. Oh shit. No, that's what I wanted to do. Oh no, this is bad. We're gonna have to go through another sequence. Alright, well, I guess we'll have to use this then. That's what I was trying to do before, and then I accidentally threw my power. Please don't throw your wife at me. Ow. Oh, we're very close to the wall, so this is going to probably suck. Ow. Turn midway through. Get him. Come on, Kirby. We need to finish this. No more. There we go. So I probably should have thrown while he was doing the little spin. It's over. That was a harder fight than I was expecting it to be, but I think it was because this, this probably doesn't do as much damage. Blizzard Ice Blueprint. So yeah, we did get both ice ones straight after the other. That's weird. Usually steaks are tenderized more than the chicken, which gives it super gentle, almost butter texture. That's true. If you can if you can do a long, long cooked steak and then bread it, wait, but wouldn't the breading like burn? I don't know. My family makes schnitzels once in a while. I get country steak from IHOPs. Ooh. I wonder if more stuff's unlocked at the boss rush now. I only got three from that. It's interesting they do an unlock and then they send you forward. I don't know if I genuinely like that. But well, we're going back to the Waddle D town, so. Something unlocked? Ah, uh, level 3 gacha. <laughs> really important. The gacha is very important. What's this? Tilt and roll Kirby. Minigame? We should go get some unlocks. <laughs> Drill, hammer, and ice. We're actually going to run out of, like, those coins, I think. Ironically. I feel like we're probably going to run out of coins before upgrading everything. Sleep. There we go. We got sleep. It's interesting that we got, like, we haven't got whatever the last power is, which I think is Crash. They surely Crash must come up sometime soon. And I haven't missed it, have I? Alright, what's Powered Hammer? It's just- it's- wait, this one's the wild one. Wow, look at his little outfit! Oh, that's so cute! Oh, that's- okay. It just feels like Hammer, honestly. Uh, well, I guess we'll upgrade this because this keeps coming up, I guess. Yeah, I, I won't have everything. Interesting. I can't upgrade the last one. So we might have to repeat a level or so. I mean, I got... I got Twin Tails, chat. Hell yeah. Oh, that's so cool. You become a little buzzsaw. Oh, okay. That's way more aesthetic than the other one. The pencil was a bit lame. I want to upgrade this, but I don't have the, the points for it. Need more, more things. So what do we got to upgrade? This needs to upgrade. I think this needs, this is two, this is three now. 
That's three. This is two. This is three. This is two. So we got one, two, three. I doubt that sleep gets upgraded. Four. So we need a lot of coinage, it seems. This makes me not want to get the maximum tomatoes now. <laughs> Can't dig a stair. Hello. Tilt and roll Kirby. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, hell yes. Oh, dude, yes. Does it actually use gyro? Oh, it is actually using gyro. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna have to sit up. Um, hang on, I need to, can I reset it? Reset tilt, hang on, why? Okay, there we go. Play one to play. Oh yes! I, I'm in love with this. Well, at least I get coins. Oh, is there more than one? Please tell me there's more than one. Is there more? do these oh wow this is okay interesting oh wow okay all right this, this is actually legit um <laughs> this is gonna be tough why does it roll forward like that it seems that it like maintains momentum a little bit longer than it seems you see that Next one's probably going to be pretty hard if that second one was already that hard. I mean, it's an easy way to get coinage. If this is like... If this is repeatable. Unless it's only giving that score. Like, oh, gee. Look at this. It's like I'm playing um, Breath of the Wild all over again. This is going to be... This is going to be rough. All right. Sitting up, sitting up for this one. I need to reset the tilt, it's all weird. Strangely enough, I think the curvy way is the way to go. Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh I got it. That's pretty lenient actually. I wonder if it's only when you get a clear you get those 50. But that's fun. That was cool. Oh no! Special challenge. The hard modes. Extra figure is a reward for extra difficulty. I got something. <laughs> Here's my special gift. It's me. Paid five to get it. So we get 500 for this, which is nice. We should go upgrade the, our thing if we can get this. Right, this is where it's going to get tough because I need to I need to get not too much momentum. Dude, come on. Dude, come on. Not that in lack of momentum. Alright, that one's not too bad. The other, this next one, I feel like is going to be brutal. Alright, here we go. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so hard. Oh no. Uh, go. Uh, go. 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 No. I, c I should have just went for it. It just it maintains its momentum a little longer. All right, I won't mess about too much with that. That's fun. 
I like that. Does that mean there's a new version of the Colosseum? Hang on. So there's that one. Okay, so there's not a different one? I wonder if there's different cups when we eventually add, like, get further in. Ooh. Cool beans. Alright, well, I actually think that's probably where we'll finish for today. This is the stare into the, the Kirby spiral. Yeah. But yeah, holy heck. This is, I'm enjoying this game. I, I feel like we haven't got too much longer than to spend with it. Um, because what is the new world? Let's have a look at the new world, actually. Um, because... I think that we probably only have two worlds left here, because this isn't the volcano, is it? This is something else. Oh no, maybe it is the volcano. Wait, I wonder whether or not we have one area left. This is very ominous. There's like one level and maybe one extra boss. That's what it feels like to me. Redgar, Forbidden Lands. So I think this is what, I think this is what we're up to. But yeah, these games are usually pretty short, but they're very satisfying. So I, I think that we'll probably... I'll probably complete this. I, I reckon I'm going to play this in New Game Plus. I'm assuming it has New Game Plus after I finish this. But, uh, yeah. So, oh, I thought that was a like a bomb from uh, from Final Fantasy for a sec there. All right. Well, I better finish up here. Um, so that's all of Kirby for today. Let's, uh, let's switch on over. God, look at my little outfit. It does look like I kind of got the pencil on my head, doesn't it? Where are we going to go? We're going to figure out where we're going to go. Let's find a friend to visit. Who is around?